and welcome to Menstrual Cups and Cloth Pads Kenya. So today's topic is going to be on cloth pad scammers and the reason I've decided to do this is because basically since I've been using cloth pads which has been about maybe a year and a half, two years, one more scammers have been named or are being outed. I thought you know what I'm going to do a scam video and I hope that it helps somebody you know to be able to identify a scam before they get scammed. So there's basically two types of scammers. You have a scammer who is just an out and out scammer like they basically have created a profile or a persona online with the sole purpose of conning people out of their money so usually first what they'll do is they will hang about in the cloth pad groups like a generic sort of chat group or a sewing group actually those are quite good slowly by slowly they will start to post pictures of pads that they've made or that they claim that they've made and they'll post them and they'll say oh look what i just made and isn't this nice and everyone will be like oh that's really nice and everything because everyone's really supportive as well and eventually they'll start to say oh i made you know 20 pads to donate to charity or i made I don't know, five pads to give to my sister or my mom or my cousin or whatever it is. And then one day they'll say, you know what? I made so many pads. I'm thinking of just selling them cheap, really cheap, maybe for postage or just like super, super cheap, like maybe like three pound a pad or something like that. And, you know, it's a good deal. Now, the thing is, everything that I've said so far is stuff that even a new maker would do, you know. So at this point, there's nothing really that different from a new and legitimate maker. Somebody who starts out just sewing casually at home and then they start giving out their stuff to friends and family. And then one day they might sell it as a second. So they'll sell it cheap because they say, look, I don't really know whether aesthetically it's up to sort of scratch, but it's functional. And here you can have this pad for postage or whatever it is, just to try and build a name and build a reputation and build a, a customer base, so to speak. So nothing unusual here. There's no red flags and anybody would kind of be taken in by this. Then what they start to do, and I think this is where the real difference is, is that they will start to say, um, I, I can make you know, bundles of pads and they'll offer them extremely cheap. And you'll notice that the price that they're offering them probably wouldn't even cover, it wouldn't even be at cost. It wouldn't even cover the raw materials that they claim that they've used. But the pads that they're picturing are, are always very nice looking. Like you're, you're, you're not like, oh, that's a really, okay. There's one person who's been named as Gamma in one of the American groups. And honestly, I see her pads and I'm like, what the hell is that? <laughs> like, keep that in your drawer, sister. Then they'll say, hey, should I open a group? And everyone's like, yes, you should. And by this time, they've got enough interest that they will have maybe 100, even 200, even 300 members in their group when they open it. And then they say, OK, I'm going to start taking custom orders. But they start taking huge numbers. So they'll say something like, I have 30 slots of five pads per person, right? So already there's a red flag because even the best makers, even the fastest sewers, you know, would not be able to, the turnaround time would be massive. And these are people who are promising relatively short turnaround times. Maybe they'll tell you two weeks or whatever it is. And so <clears throat> everyone's like, oh my goodness, of course. And they're selling them cheap, but it's then about volume because they're selling it at, you know, even if it's three or four pounds a pad and you're buying 10, right? So you've spent 30 or 40 pounds and you've got 300 people doing this. Uh, 30 times 300. Anyway, it's a lot of money. What they will do is they will send out a few pads. And what that does is it keeps people feeling comfortable and feeling safe because there'll be a couple of people who will be posting saying, hey, I've got my pads, thank you so much. What a quick turnaround, they're really nice. So people are like, oh, this is really good. This is authentic, this is legit. And they're still taking orders and the orders, orders are just rolling in. Two weeks, maybe four weeks has gone by because nobody likes to kind of be like, where are my pads? So everybody's really polite and kind of says like, you know, let's wait a decent amount of time. And now you start to message the, 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 the maker saying, hey, where are my pads? And at this point, the maker will usually come up with some kind of family crisis. And of course, what this does is that it makes you feel 
sympathy towards them and you know you feel like oh my goodness but also you feel guilt you don't want to be that person who's like i want my pads and somebody's husband is lying dying in a hospital room so now like seven weeks has gone by another thing that scammers do is that they will ask you to pay usually by friends and family people you have two options you can buy goods and services for which you get protection or you can do friends and family which you have no protection so they'll usually tell people just send me friends and family i'm not a business i've not paid taxes or i don't want to claim taxes or whatever it is whatever the scam is that they say they manage to convince people so the majority of people will be paying them friends and family i think sometimes when you're thinking you're getting a, such a good deal it clouds your reasoning you know and so instead of being like oh i don't know this sounds a bit dodgy you're thinking oh it's 30 to 40 pounds and i am getting 10 pads out of this like 10 pads A few people will start to post on the actual group rather than messaging privately. Hey, I'm trying to get my pads. Well, where are they? I've been contacting you. You're not communicating, blah, blah, blah. At this point, usually the maker stops communicating through um, private messages. So they might occasionally respond to messages on the group. Oh, sorry, I didn't see this. My, my messenger isn't working on my phone, so I can only use it on my laptop, but I'm never at home because I'm always at the hospital with my husband, stuff like that. And this will start to go on for a while. And then you start seeing more and it just starts to snowball. And you just start to see more and more and more people saying, hey, I didn't get my pads. Where are they? Where are they? And at this point, they're, con they're communicating, but they're, you know, now there's like postal problems. There's always postal problems. They say, I posted them. It didn't come. Oh my gosh, I'll have to check with Royal Mail. My brother works with the postal system and I'll have him check for your post, even though that's illegal. And this will drag on for another 9, 10, 11 weeks. By the 12th week, usually somebody's like, you know what, you're a scammer, I want my money back, right? And now a few people have already started making claims with PayPal. Now, the people who've paid by, um, by goods and services, they have stand a pretty good chance of getting their money back. The friends and family people, this is when it really starts to hit them. So now there's panic. Everybody starts to like put in claims everybody like even people who've placed recent orders and are not yet at the kind of i've been waiting for 12 weeks stage everyone's just panicking and they're like you know give me my money back this person is a scammer they usually start to get called out at this point in scamming groups there's this group called the cloth pad anti-scammer coalition that's a really good group there are loads of scammers named there meanwhile usually the scammer is still selling in other groups so they might still be selling in the cloth pad buy sell trade groups although this is not super likely they might be selling in on Etsy. This happens. They might be selling on their local like marketplaces, like in their region. This happens, you know, so they'll still be selling. Now, usually the initial pads that go out are not terrible quality, but the closer and closer to the end of a scam, the worse and worse quality the pads get. They tend to have terrible stitching. So sometimes they're just, if you're lucky, they just look bad. If you're unlucky, they're completely um useless like you cannot use them they would leak or whatever just like structurally they just are not functional then you start getting people posting i got this pad look at it you know I, i've washed it a few times blah 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 then you now really get to the extremes where you have people cutting open pads and it's like an old tea towel so at this point when now the scammer is just being called out completely and business has completely run dry they usually shut their group and disappear you know, they'll switch off their profile or whatever it is, or they'll completely close it and you can't see it. And you know, the weird thing about scammers is that they always, always deny, you know, nobody ever says like, you're right, you caught me, I'm a scammer. You know, they will always be like, no, you know, and they stick to this, like whatever nonsense excuse it is that they've created to the end. We really scammers, they're just like the scum of the earth because they don't care. They do not care. So that's the first type of scammer. 